catch you. Uh, yeah. This is us currently in 2023. But since we're kind of homebound this week and not really going out on adventures, we're going to flash back to some stuff from 2020. I have a Google Cloud I really need to clean out and get the footage and stuff up onto YouTube and then what I'm going to save backed up into the other Google Clouds I'm actually using. So therefore, we thought it'd be a good spell to kind of flash back and go back to some of our Out West stuff. So no, this is not current, and I know I probably won't get a ton of views on it, but we really want it in our memory bank. So please enjoy this little piece of me and Teddy out roaming the Mojave Desert back in summer of 2020. And, and there's a and there's a tea. On the couch. And a teddy jumping on the couch, huh? Six o'clock in the morning, folks. This is the energy that a five-year-old has. Good, beautiful morning, everyone. It is Thursday, July 9th, 2020, and we are coming to you from Amboy, California, in the middle of the Mojave Desert. And yes, I know it's July, you're wondering. Nomadic Phoenix, what are you doing in the middle of the Mojave in July? Well, actually, it's pretty okay to come tour something in the Mojave if you come first thing in the morning, which is actually what we're doing. It's only like 7.30 in the morning. And we're going to hit our few spots we want to and then get back into air conditioning by noon. So anyway, I'm starting in Amboy. It's a Route 66 spot. And then we might kind of go in reverse order and then work our way from here in Amboy back towards Kingman. So I might touch a few more spots on Route 66. Like I might stop at the Oasis, might stop in Needles. We'll see where the morning takes us. But anyway, feel free to join us. We're gonna get out and show you what I love here in Amboy and uh, kind of a nice little unique hidden kind of surprise. So I've got Teddy Boo out, and I just do want to give a safety tip to parents. You are in the Mojave Desert. There are scorpions. There are snakes. So, yes, you know, get your kids out. Let them stretch their legs, but make sure you are keeping eyes and ears open at all times. So, this, I remember when I first saw these, I was like, oh my gosh, what are these? These are the Amboy Lions. And here is one of them. And the other one is way down yonder. You can't really see it from, you can see it from here to the eye, but I don't know if I can pick it up on camera with the glare of the sun. So there's actually, if it's still here, and it was at this one, I think, and not the other one. And this one's the easier one to park at. So I'm hoping it is here, but I think there's a log that you can actually read about why these are here and sign the log and add your own story to it. And I don't know if that's a phone book or what that is. Teddy, stay here, honey. Thank you. So it saddens me someone has tagged it with spray paint. You know, this is not Cadillac Ranch. I'm looking and I don't see the log in there. Actually, just for knowledge, it is, like I said, it's only like 7.30 in the morning and it is like 84 degrees here. Before we started making the dip, when we come off 40, it was 81 degrees. Stay right here with Mom Teddy. Bushes out there are creosote bushes and they're a cloning bush if you're not familiar with creosote bushes. So they're all like basically the same plan. Teddy, honey, come back. So there are some odd finds here. <laughs> Just a pair of heels, a card, bullet shells, all kinds of strange offerings. I do not see the logs. So I'm gonna have to somehow make my way down to the other one to see if the log is there. Maybe my memory wasn't serving me correctly. That's a Bible. Okay, now I know what that is. Huh? I like this survey marker too. 
my friend Jacob Barlow at YouTube channel, Jacob Barlow, he likes these too. So I'll get a good close up of this for him. <sighs> it's nice. It's actually nice right now at 84 degrees. It feels beautiful out here. A little bit of a breeze, but not so much that's bothering recording. Teddy's having fun stretching his legs. Looking down into Amboy itself. So I did drive down to the other one. So I came down the road just fine. On there's no log here either. So to give you a time stamp of when I visited these, it was probably January, December or January, like December 2018, January 2019. So it's obviously been a good year and a half. Hard to tell. Uh, over next to the Jeep, there is a for sale sign. And I didn't come in front of those, but I'm assuming they're for sale signs. So it's property here along Historic. Route 66 National Old Trails Highway must be for sale. So in a way that makes me sad not knowing the future of this roadside oddity. And it makes me sad that the log is no longer here because the notebook had really like a good write up of the people who placed the Amboy Lions here and why it was um, when I go to upload this onto YouTube, I will look to see if there's still a website that talks about it. And if I find that, I will link it in the description below the video so that you guys could read about it. Or just Google it on your own, see what history you find about the Amboy Lions. Um, again, this one, I didn't bother getting Teddy out because I kind of had a feel in there. Probably wouldn't be much here to bother unbuckling him for. Some unique things, but still no log. Really unique items though. So, I guess Teddy and I will head on down the highway. I'm kind of excited to hit the Oasis and get us a nice cold drink for a treat. To show you guys a little bit of the Oasis. But yeah, I'm really sad there's no log here. And I am wondering, I mean, you know how it goes with for sale properties. This property could sit here forever for sale and not be bought. And, but anyway, on to the next one. So we are at our next stop, which is known as the Oasis. And as you can see, it truly is an oasis when you are traveling through the Mojave. It's a nice place to stop, get some shade, enjoy these fountains. There's koi in these ponds. Teddy's enjoying snacks. So it's going on like, oh, I'm gonna guess 9.15, 9.30 in the morning Pacific time zone. I was wrong when I quoted the time at the Amboy Lions. It was closer to 8 when we were there, not 7.30. Temperature's going on about 85 degrees right now. It's going to start getting hot, hot, which is why if you want to see anything traveling through the Mojave, or even if you're just traveling on Interstate 40, which is out there, on any given day in the summer, you want to do it early or at night. So... Speaking of that, like I'm looking at gas pumps. You really, if you're traveling on Interstate 40, you wanna get gas on the Arizona side. Cause this is, after you leave Needles, which is on the California side, this is like the only gas again until Barstow, which is like two hours away, two and a half hours away. If that, don't quote me on that. I know it's like two hours away. So you really wanna plan it out and gas up on the Arizona side if you can. Because gas here is like almost $5 a gallon because you are in the middle of it nowhere. Um, there are snacks and drinks inside and some Route 66 merchandise. It's a really cool store, really friendly people. 
Again, I always say when I'm traveling, I like to kind of support these mom and pop operations. So I don't mind stopping here. If you're using a debit card or credit card, it is a $5 minimum. So be prepared for that, but no big deal. And things are a little pricey and you have to expect that because you are in the middle of Mojave. So it, I got water, which is funny because I thought I had a spare sippy cup in the Jeep and I don't have one of the ones that he likes. So I got specifically a water bottle that he can suck off from so that he can get water. And he's having some cheesy poofs as a tree and an orange that he picked out we're gonna dive into. Don't climb up there. Oh, you're going to anyway. You heard me say orange. And uh, I'm having a Diet Mountain Dew as a treat. So I'm gonna get him down. So we had to have some orange fixed for us. So I fixed some orange. And he's having cheesy poofs and some water. It's a cool spot too. There's been like two trains that have gone by since we've been here. There's cool grackles to listen to. And it really is a good spot to just stop, let your eyes rest, stretch your legs, get your blood flowing again, get a snack, enjoy the koi. I'm not sure if I can zoom in very good the way the sun's hitting on them. Let me try here. All right, there you go. Here's a good look at some of those koi. Be careful though, there are a lot of bees. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful dragonfly. I don't think I'm picking him up on camera very well, but. Oh, there we go. Look at him, isn't he gorgeous? I'm getting closer because I'm trying to take photos too as I film. Isn't he just gorgeous? But if you are sensitive to bees, be very careful. Most of them are having more fun being over the water than they are out here where it's dry. But just be mindful of that if you do have a problem with bee stings. And this does lose some of its shade, obviously, during parts of the day. Are you all done, Boo? Are you gonna look around? A look. A look, huh? Look. major major travel hair don't care so as you can see we did not stop in needles um by the time we left the oasis temperature was crawling up towards 90. by the time we were crossing the colorado river between the california border and the arizona border right at needles it was 105. so i decided another time we'll we'll certainly you know we're living in the area now we'll certainly get to needles this winter when it's not 105. It's really scary actually. This weekend in Lake Havasu City it's supposed to reach 120 on Sunday. Even in a dry heat folks that's not fun. Anyway so we came back to Kingman to have lunch and settle in for the afternoon. Big news coming tomorrow but I'm not going to spoil the surprise so you'll have to stay tuned and see in a day or two when I get that vlog posted what Teddy and I are up to. But anyway, hope you enjoyed our little excursion to Amboy and the Oasis on Route 66 in California. Peace and love, gang. Keep adventuring. Check the description down below if there's anything else you want to know. Teddy and I truly love you all. Have an awesome day.